Hey, how's it going, everyone? HFT or Happy Fun Times here, back with another Don't Starve Together video, slash, you know, it's basically Halloween, slash DST, slash rant, whatever the fuck it's, it's gonna be. So first things first, hope everyone had a fun and safe Halloween, anyone that did go out for, like, a party, or if you just went out walking around in costume for shits and giggles, or if you're old enough, or too old to be going trick-or-treating, uh, but still went out to do it anyway, then cool, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything about, like, trick-or-treating, because I'm not a, I'm not a child-friendly channel, and I, I, you know, it is what it is at that point, so I, I, pushing that aside, uh, for people that did, I hope it, you, it, everything went well, and if you didn't, then you have my sympathy. One of my friends didn't get to go trick-or-treating, and what I basically did as, uh, my means of... Uh, basically saying, hey, you may not, you might not have got to go out, well, not trick-or-treating, but go out for Halloween and just walk around and shit. Uh, here is a copy of Don't Starve Together, and you're probably wondering, Happy, how the fuck did you, uh, do that if you don't have, you know, money or financial income or whatever the fuck? I sold my capper in TF2, mostly because I wanted to, but it's okay, because I'm getting another one, and it's, I, I have to wait, like, a week plus to get it, almost a month. But it's okay, honestly, because uh, a friend of mine, uh, I helped him with something, not going to say what it is, personal between, uh, it's just his own personal affairs. I helped him with something, uh, and he basically said, ah, you know, I'll fucking buy a Fallout 4 as, you know, my way of saying thank you for the assistance. And... I don't know, I didn't know if he was serious or if that was a joke, and I did text him. If you were serious about that, uh, instead of Fallout 4, uh, I, I would gladly take a fucking capper in TF2. It's cheaper, and, you know, I, 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 I kind of sold, I didn't tell him, I don't know if I told him I sold mine or not, but I sold mine without, with the intention of knowing what I was doing, but if, like, if I, it's like, well, if he meant that, and before he actually does it, if I don't have a choice, I might as well see if he was serious. And if he was, which he, he actually was, uh, I, I'm going to see if I can get something cheaper. Because Fallout 4 was like almost 30 bucks. It was like 20 something dollars. Uh, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. A capper is like almost 10 bucks. So how about that instead? And he's like, $9 for this one item? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm like, yep. Alright, cool. So, I'm getting a, n a new capper. Woohoo! Unfortunately, it's not the same one that I had for quite a while, and it's not the same one that uh, one of my friends had. Maybe I, I might actually fucking uh, see who I sold that to. Because I think the community market does tell you who uh, who bought it or whatever. And I might see if I can find that person. And see if they have a capper in their inventory if it's not private. And once I get the capper from my friend, I'm probably... Because I'm kind of a sentimental bastard. And I'll be like, hey, uh, you bought my capper that I sold to buy a game for a friend. Uh, would you accept an exchange of basically me trading you this capper for that one? If they say no, or whatever, and say this is retarded, basically, I, it is retarded. It's it's literally pixels on a screen. It's not even a real item. But I'm a sentimental bastard, and I've had that item for at least a few years. And that weapon has been held and used by a couple good friends of mine. Some that I, I don't even have anymore. Some I do, and we just don't play anymore. And, you know, I, it's, it's got some history behind it. So, I'm going to see if I can't, you know, find that person and basically exchange the capper I'm getting from my friend. Which, by the way, if you, wa if you watch this video, or if you're watching this video, I apologize. But the capper that you're buying me is probably going to be used to exchange it for my, uh, my actual capper. It's the same item. It's the same thing. Either way, I'm, I'm going to get it. It's just, I kind of want to see if I can get mine back. Again, sentimental reasons for that specific you know, shit, but if not, cool, at least I still have one, 
and I'm grateful for my friend for actually uh, hooking me up with that. It's really fucking cool. If he had a YouTube channel or whatever the fuck, I would actually shout that out right now, but uh, I don't. Or I would put that in my, you know, associated channels list on my main page, but I don't, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, outside of that, I went out uh, walking around on Halloween. I dressed up as Dr. W.D. Gaster from Undertale. Uh, slash Deltarune. Anyone that says that, you know, ah, fuck Gaster, he's not in Deltarune at all in any way, shape, or form. Fuck you, yes he is. That's, I'm, I'm joking, obviously, but no, he, he actually is very heavily implied in that game, and anyone that says that he's not is full of shit. Or is this pissy, or whatever the fuck. I don't even know. I, I had, like, one person I'm subscribed to be like, ah, oh, people talk about it so much, I hate it. And it's like, you do realize Gaster's, part of his theme is actually used in the beginning. When you use the fucking cell phone, it plays, like, the same noise that plays from Undertale of, like, his fucking entry logs and shit. So, yes, Gaster is heavily fucking referenced a lot throughout Deltarune. For whatever reason, I don't know. If it's going to continue that, I don't know. But he is. So, at that point, I, you're just hating for the sake of hating. But, uh, that aside, uh, fucking, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Uh, I ended up hurting my fucking ankle when I went out for a walk. Which genuinely sucked. And how I heard it was... Uh, I'm sorry, my audio is weird in my headphones. I'm trying to fix it. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I was uh, moving and looking for something. Found it, though. It was my charger for my fucking iPod. It was under the mix of shit, and I was looking for the end bit, just because, you know, I had to plug that in, because... Need to be able to actually use my iPod. Anyway, um... Halloween was fun, but I scraped my fucking ankle up something fierce, which sucks really bad. I actually had a piece of cloth that I folded up and stuffed in there that I have been using for, you know couple days to like weeks or a week or two now or whatever the fuck anytime I went out I just have that there to protect the, my you know the back of my Achilles or whatever the fuck basically the bridge or whatever basically right above the fucking uh right above your heel the Achilles tendon basically uh fucking I don't know if it slipped out of my sock in my room in the kitchen or outside all I know is, I lost it somehow. It wasn't in my sock. It might be in my sock. I'm going to have to check. Uh, that sucks. Dang it. Damn. That's retarded. Uh, outside of that... Uh, fun fact. The, the very next day, around 8 o'clock, 7 to 8 o'clock, I went outside and I fucking tried to find it. Did not find it, but I found a like king-sized... Uh, Hershey bar with, uh, almonds in it. Now, I know a lot of people don't like almonds or nuts in their chocolate, but, uh, personally, I actually am kind of growing accustomed to almonds and hazelnuts. I like hazelnuts and chocolate. That's, fuck yeah, that's like basically eating a, you know, a candy bar with little wafers in it, if it's, you know, done right, if they're, like, small enough. And almonds, I don't mind any that much anymore. I used to hate them in chocolate when I was a kid, but now I kind of... I just accepted the fact that, you know what? Fuck it. There's nuts in this chocolate bar. I'm going to eat this chocolate bar. And yes, I did make sure it was safe. I found a king-size fucking Hershey bar just chilling right on the fucking sidewalk and partially in the grass. I thought it was my uh, shit, and I looked at it, and I see like a little bit of like uh, metallic gold on the edges, and I'm like, there's no fucking way that that's an actual can king-size candy bar. That's a big-ass candy bar. There is no way that that's an actual, like, whole... I pick it up. Holy shit, it's still fucking sealed. God damn. And I, what I did was I just shoved that in my ass pocket. Uh, and I just continued my search. Didn't find it, but, you know, I did get that candy bar, so that was cool. And... I know you're probably thinking, Happy, you complete debil. Why the fuck did you take a candy bar 
off the sidewalk and, like, take it home and eat it. Well, here's the thing. When I got home, I washed my hands very thoroughly, and I washed the uh, candy bar itself. Well, not the candy bar, but, like, you know, the outside wrapper, like, just the, the actual, like, bar in the wrapper still. I washed that uh, with the same soap, which is, like, you know, like antibacterial, like, you know, it kills germs and shit, what you're supposed to be using during these questionable times. Uh, I washed that on the wrapper, uh, rinsed it off, dried it off. Just to make sure and cover all my bases, essentially. But I still made sure that the wrap, the outside didn't touch the chocolate, and it was just the inside wrapper. And how I actually made sure that it was still sealed was I took both hands, and I sandwiched the candy bar in between my two hands, pushed on it, and I felt an air pocket. I held it there for a little bit to see if that air pocket would go down, and I moved my hand around to make sure that I wasn't covering up any pinholes. No, it was com a perfectly sealed candy bar that I guess either a child or an adult had dropped. Maybe it fell out of their bag, maybe they were holding it and they just dropped it. Or, I don't know, or they just didn't like, you know, that specific candy bar, and they didn't know anyone that did, so they just decided to ditch it. Because I did find a couple other things of candy on the sidewalk as I was walking, uh, you know, around the area and back home. I found, in total, uh, five pieces of candy. I found a little uh, viscous white and black, or black and white, uh, baggie. And it was like one of those wax paper kind of feeling. Well, not really wax paper, but it felt like it was one of those wax paper ones. Or just one of those cheap little Halloween baggies that you put some treats in, you tie it off, and then you put it in someone's, you know, bag or bucket or whatever the fuck they have when they come and say trick or treat. But I found one of those baggies on on the road, and it had a thing of Skittles in it, and I found another thing of just a purple bag of Skittles, and I, I, I'm going to be honest, I, I heard that they were, uh, there was like a thing going around about like THC Skittles or whatever the fuck. Basically Skittles that, you know, had a little bit of THC in them, because it's legal in certain areas, so Skittles decided to do that for that situation, I figured, alright, cool, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, I wanted to see if it was that because, well, anxiety, and that would have been fun if it was, like, sealed. Of course, I didn't eat any of them, and I found two little fun-size uh, Kit Kat bars, to which I didn't eat any of those either. But I did pick them up, and I did carry them back home, and I did throw them away just in case of, like, you know, any kid comes around, walks around, rides their bike, finds candy on the ground, sealed, and they just decide, fuck it, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and eat this candy... Or an, a fucking dumbass comes around and he just picks it up and eats it. Or, God forbid, an animal comes around and eats it. They get sick and, you know, something happens. Fucking, no, I made it uh, my job to basically just, you know what, I'm going to pick up these two fucking little fun-sized Kit Kats and these uh, two Skittles and I'm going to just shove them in this bag and I'm just going to carry this home. Doesn't matter, because I'm not going to touch my face. I'm going to wash my hands anyway when I get back home. And, yeah. I don't know why I described what I did outside, but... I, I Just to add on to what I, you know, what I did that day, so... Oh, you know, as if finding a fucking king-size Hershey bar with almonds wasn't interesting enough. I, I suppose it's to make up for the fact that it has almonds in it. And not a lot of people really like uh, candy bars with, like, again, nuts in them. Me, personally, I did not mind. I froze it, of course, because I like frozen chocolate bars. I, li I like, actually... It, some, it's just something appealing about, you know, just fucking uh, biting down into a frozen uh, chocolate bar. And just... I, I, it's just, like, more of, like, an animalistic instinct or a primal instinct of just, like, burying your fucking teeth into something that's, like, hard and frozen just to get what you want. And it's like, well, you know... Frozen chocolate is not refreshing, and it tastes good, and it's not, you know, gonna melt. Plus, it has a slightly different taste when frozen. But, outside of that, Halloween is obviously over, and... If you haven't done the Halloween conte costume contest that Clay was doing... Uh, the costume contest ends today, so... Apologies if you missed out on that. But the links are... I don't know if I include those links in my videos. If they are in the description of any of my previous ones, I will be removing them upon release of this video, so it's not going to be there anymore. So I apologize immensely for that. 
But I changed, I took off the Halloween vignettes that I used, and I put all the regular ones that I uh, used prior to that. So, Halloween is over, but, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. I'm just going to use what I've been using that I'm fine with using, like the cold fire, the other shit, and just just overall, just peace, peace, I like that sound. Anyway, uh, instead of just doing that like a complete fucking tard, uh, just because I like the sound, because, uh huh, funny, uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, let's see, uh, what did I talk about? Halloween? Right, 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 right. I do apologize immensely that I didn't actually stream a lot during October. Like I said, I was going to, like, I literally hyped up October. Like, I got big plans. I'm going to be fucking streaming, recording, pumping out content like nobody's business. And then I literally did absolutely fuck all. If you add up everything I did, I did do a little over 31 things. So that's technically like a video uh, for the most part and like maybe 10 plus streams, like maybe 13 or 14 streams that I did uh, in total as a whole, probably less than that, and like 20 odd videos that I did or something or other. So in total, I did like 30 something things in total including the two things that I kind of bailed on. And I left the uh, the last Hallowed Night stream that I did on my channel just to let everybody know how bad my anxiety can get with my streams and the reason why I'm apologizing that I didn't do a whole hell of a lot because of how bad shit can get. And if, again, if you want to see how bad it can get, just go look at the last fucking Hallowed Night stream I did. Watch until, or just click it to the, the middle of the stream and, or at the end and you'll see how bad it, it can genuinely get. It gets pretty bad. And that's not even as bad as it gets. That's not the worst point. That's easy. But I still felt like shit, and I still feel like shit right now, but, like, I can actually, you know, do this right now. And I've had to do multiple takes on this video. And unfortunately for me, I'm not gonna actually be able to, you know, get this video out by the time this is done, because it literally has, like, less than an hour before this all goes off sale. So, I apologize immensely that I kind of screwed everyone out of, like, saying, Hey, go, this is your last chance, go, go, go and get it. But, whatever. Again, I digress. But, aside from that, streams can sometimes be a bit of a commitment for me. To quote Trey from The Bell Life, link to their channel since I mentioned it, and I do like their, their content, will be in the top of the description below if you want to check them out. They're good old Kentucky boys. Uh, they do a lot of dumb and funny things. I like them. Uh, they're fun. Uh, they probably wouldn't like me, especially uh, the words I use, how often I swear, and just the overall how fucking weird and shit I am. So, it, it's whatever. But I can say that they're... I, I can at least appreciate, you know, their content. That's good enough for me. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, in the words of Trey... Uh, in one of his videos where, uh, Justin, a.k.a. Dum Dum, his, the youngest brother of the two, they're both brothers, Trey is his oldest brother, not his dad. I thought it was his dad when I first saw the channel, and then I found out, nope, it's his brother. Okay, it's confirmed. Alright, cool. Uh, he, uh, was, he, he pointed out that, like, he didn't like Oreos, and they had, like, Oreo donuts from Krispy Kreme. Because they're doing, like, a so-and-so calorie challenge for the amount of subscribers they have gained. Which, by the way, I didn't do my 600 subscribers special because, again, I'm sorry. Shit like that is a really big commitment for me. And, again, I genuinely am sorry. And I, I want to do something for it. And I don't have any ideas as to what I, can, I could or can't do for it. But if you can think of something, you know, simple or easy, let me know and I'll do it. Or consider it if it you know if it's something that's you know reasonable. Aside from that, uh, no, he he looked at the Oreo donuts again because he doesn't like Oreos and he's like yeah like uh, the cream filled donuts or like the specific kind of donuts that I guess he didn't really wasn't a huge fan of like no the custard filled ones those are com these are a commitment and those Oreo Oreo ones are even more of a commitment because he didn't like Oreos and it's like well anything that's like filled with cream. It's like, that's not just bread. You're also being filled with fucking 
you know, the Boston cream or whatever the fuck they put in there, or the icing that they put in there, like all that sugar in your system, all that sweetness, it gets sickly sweet, they all start tasting the same. And he uses the term, that's a commitment a lot. Well, for me, streaming is quite a commitment to a lot of things. Because once you start, I like to go to at least two hours. Because if I just stream for like an hour and a half, and I don't have any plans on picking up on that, and I just keep redoing it and redoing it and redoing it like I do with like Don't Starve Together and shit, then it's like, what's the point of it? Then I like to at least do two hours so I get at least to, you know, winter, and a little bit through winter, or at least to winter... And then be done with it, and then it's like, okay, uh, good enough for me, and if I want to pick up on that world, cool. If I feel like restarting, cool, I have that option. But, no, sometimes streaming can be a bit of a commitment, and it can take a, uh, physical or mental toll on me. Again, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go watch the last Hollow Knight stream I did. It can get to the point where I can literally, even if it's a good stream, like when I did Plants vs. Zombies, uh, fucking... Any moment with, like, false deja vu where it felt it felt like it happened before, probably because I tried streaming that beforehand, and then I didn't like how it turned out, and I tried redoing it, and then redoing it, and not being, you know, just, that, that game is kind of repetitive, it's the sh same shit over and over. Maybe I said the sa similar commentary while doing it, and... I basically had like a mini mental panic attack or freak out because it felt like it happened already. Probably because I tried to replicate what I did. So I basically was the same or it felt the same. Again, deja vu or false deja vu. Where it felt like it, it was something that happened but didn't actually happen at all. So... Yeah, no. Stuff like that and if I get like too overwhelmed like mentally... It'll get to the point where I literally cannot, like, speak proper words or sentences or just general English. And it's the, the main language and only language I've ever spoken in my goddamn life. Any other language that I, that I speak a little bit of, like, in terms of, like, words and phrases is just stuff that I picked up from, like, YouTubers and, like, you know, people that I've known and met. But... You know, it, it it it's 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 hard. I guess is what I'm saying. Sometimes it it can be, sometimes sometimes they're easier than others. Sometimes they're harder than others. And it's it is what it is at the end of the day. But I am genuinely sorry that I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. I wanted to do more. I wanted to stream more. I wanted to record more. I wanted to do more with the actual month of October, uh, leading up to Halloween. Excuse me, but I didn't uh, get to do what I wanted to do, but at least, you know, I got to do a little bit. Hell, I wanted to stream, you know, Deltarune in its entirety, but most of the way, a little over halfway through the game, I genuinely got, I'm like, you know what, I don't feel like doing this anymore because I, I, I'm just kind of like half-assing it at this point, and I know that I'm cutting corners in terms of like my commentary, reading shit, I'm going through it, I'm not having fun. And I don't want to get to the point where it just becomes a genuine chore, or I just don't want to do it anymore. That did I didn't mean to rhyme with that, but... So I quit when I got to the point where you fight Susie and Lancer, and then they both join your team uh, right before the card castle. And I was going to finish that game later on that night, because it was the game's third year anniversary. Uh, but I didn't. I genuinely did not. And that sucks. That genuinely sucks. Because I went out, I walked around, and I came home, and I was... Not only was my uh, right fucking ankle, Achilles, whatever the fuck, uh, sore, but I was also, you know, dealing with anxiety. And what I mean by that is, I did walk around, and I did walk around people with, without wearing a mask or my bandana... But I did, like, you know, anytime I'd see someone, I wouldn't be, like, up close to them, and nobody coughed around me. Uh, I, if someone was walking on the sidewalk, I'd move over on the grass, and I'd let them pass by, and I'd just say, Happy Halloween, stay safe, and that was all I did, and i just continue walking. And I didn't put on my bandana until, like, I don't know, midway through that, until I was almost done with, with you know, my walk through, you know, Halloween or the night. And it made me paranoid because of the whole fucking Rona situation. But I've been... I've had like a fucking uh, dry cough or whatever. 
one super like on edge or anxious before the whole you know coronavirus bullshit or epidemic and I know someone would say oh you should have that looked at you should have that looked at that could be something really serious or bad or harmful to you I had a blood test nothing was wrong with my internals beforehand so why would something randomly pop up like not even that long after the blood test or probably before the blood test I don't remember all I know is I had really bad coughing fits when dealing with, uh, you know, super aggressive anxiety. Or just, you know, mildly aggressive anxiety to the point where it felt like I was genuinely, like, not out of breath, but, like, I've run a mile. I'd basically be, like, breathing, like, <sighs> like, hyperventilating kind of shit. And it, it wouldn't, it's, it's not fun. It, it's not fun at all. But knock on wood that, you know, everything's fine. Obviously, that was stupid of me to do. I wouldn't recommend doing that to, at all in your life. Wear a mask outside, goddammit. Don't be stupid. And obviously, I don't... I'm not... At the moment, I'm not sick. It's literally been two days since then. My forehead isn't warm. I'm not running a fever. Uh, the only time I cough is when I'm, like, anxious or whatever. Or if I'm having a laughing fit and it makes me wheeze. Or whatever the fuck. So, again, I've had a blood test uh, some odd months ago before the Rona. And I've had the dry cough before the Rona. So, the blood test came back because they checked my internals to make sure everything, like my, you know, all my organs and internals are fine. My blood is fine. There's no infection or, you know, disease or whatever in me. I'm good to go, essentially. Because they took two vials of blood. One was to check the internals. The other one was to check for infection or disease. In my internals or just in my body in, you know, in general. At all, in, just as a whole. Everything was fine. Everything came back normal. I got it in black and white on paper that everything is fine. So I highly doubt that, you know, that is the case. Maybe it's just one of those things that just got progressively kind of like more frequent. Because of my paranoia or my anxiety. It is what it is. But I'm saying it's bullshit like that is the reason why I didn't do a lot. And why I probably won't be doing a lot outside of probably, like, recording videos. Like, right now I'm thinking to myself, oh, I could, I want to stream Hamlet or Shipwrecked. By the way, if, you're, if you've watched up until this point, let me know in the comments if you want to see me do Shipwrecked or Hamlet uh, today. And I might actually do it. You know, knock on wood that, you know, everything I said, nothing's wrong with me and that nothing is going to happen to me. And knock on wood that I actually, you know, nothing stupid will happen if I actually end up streaming something later on. If I do. And I can't stress that uh, that enough. If I do. Uh, if I do. <clears throat> anyway. Dry throw, because I've had to, like, try recording this multiple times. And I've been talking my ass off for literally an hour in the last recording. Which is probably, like, almost an hour now. I, I, if I had to guess, it's, like, 30 minutes right now. 28! Almost 30 minutes of recording time. Nice! But, it sucks, because I bought the fucking... Uh, well, first off, let me just finish that topic. You know, I apologize that I, that I didn't do a whole hell of a lot. Again, that's my bad, that's on me, I'll own that, even though it's out of my control. No one can help anything that's wrong with them mentally, like anxiety, especially, you know, if it's, you know, some, some have it worse or, you know, worse than others. I'm not saying mine is bad, but it's, it's pretty, it's, it has been retardedly fucking bad. But we don't talk about that, I'm not going to talk about it anymore, because I don't want to run the risk of that happening anytime soon, or again, knock on wood. But, now I'm done with that. Just, I'm sorry that I didn't do as much as I, you know, would wanted to do. I would, would like to. I didn't do as much as I would wanted to. Or, eh. I didn't do all that I wanted to do. There we go. Done. Moving on. I bought the bat backpack. I, I'm not going to call it the back bat anymore because that's just, it, it's, it's, that's fucking stupid. The bat backpack that I have, the battleisk backpack. Uh, I got that. Uh, with what little money I had, because I sold cards on Steam to get it. And I also sold, uh, well, you know, just cards, I guess. And I was also able to get the Macabre Web Birdcage. So, you know, it, it, oh, well, the skin for the Birdcage, of course. They were Halloween skins, or Hollow Knight skins. Or, well, one of them was, and the other one I just assume associated with Halloween, or Hollow Knights, because Vampire Maxwell... 
Uh, bat fucking backpack. It, you know, come on, that's that's funny, and it's a jo it's like a joke, and, uh, and this, at the same time. But it's whatever. It is indeed whatever. So woo. -hoo. Sad that I wasn't able to use those, but hopefully uh, my appointment is later on today at like three in the afternoon, like mid to late three in the afternoon. So hopefully. Something gets worked out or resolved or figured out in terms of, like, you know, a better situation with, like, you know, my meds. Hopefully I get something that'll actually do me some good and will actually be, you know, better in terms of, you know, long term instead of just a couple months. And won't actually have any adverse side effects or hurt me or kill me. So, knock on wood, that, that won't happen. Or that nothing stupid happens to me, or hurts me, or kills me at all, because my anxiety and shit is just that stupid enough to tell me, hey, you don't know, you feel like shit right now, don't you? It's like, well, yeah, I do, asshole, fuck it, fu just fuck off. Knock on wood. Anyway, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, no, there is one other thing. I did do an Among Us video recently, or yesterday, and that was only because uh, I met a group of people, or a few people, while playing TF2. Uh, they friended me, invited me to their Discord group, or asked if I wanted to join it, you know, and shit, and I'm like, okay, sure, why not? So, I they, they were all talking about playing Among Us, and they kind of like, they, they didn't pester or bother me to, but they were kind of like basically saying, oh, come on, you can play with us, it'll be fun, come on, you, it'll be fun, come on, basically. I'm like, you know what, <sighs> fuck it, fine, I'll try it, God damn it. I don't enjoy it all that much, and I don't really like it all that much, but fine. I did have fun, I will admit, not with not so much with the game, but just the concept of running around and doing what they did at the end of it. Basically, uh, there's one imposter amongst, like, you know, five or six of you, or more, uh, depending on how many people you can get on board with that, and the person who is the imposter has to admit that they're the imposter. They have to sabotage uh, comms or communications as soon as they start. As soon as they're able to, they have to sabotage that before they can actually leave the room and do anything at all, to which I didn't pay attention because of my anxiety and I broke that rule several times by, by accident and by mistake. Uh, doing that and just listening to like people scream and just fucking the reactions that they were having to a lot of the stuff, it, it's it's really funny. It was amazing and it made me laugh. That that one dude, uh, Pi in that server, he has like the best reactions when running. I laughed. I fucking... I, I fucking wheezed really hard and coughed because I think I fucking exhaled all the fucking air out of my lungs when I fucking laughed. Or it felt like I was like, you know, I, I had to fucking catch my breath. I was fucking laughing so goddamn hard. But, you know, that, that that's just, it is what it is. Although I will say, that group of friends is genuinely nice and I do like them. I don't really talk to them all that much. It's kind of rare when I do, mostly because I don't want to bother them because they're usually doing TF2 or some other game, and I'm obviously, I think, either I'm the only American in that server or I'm, like, one of very few in there. Primarily, you got, like, obviously people from the UK. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone from Australia or, uh, or whatever the fuck. Um... European, and I'll, I'll be honest, prior to that, I was teased a little bit by, like, one or two uh, Europeans for being American. I don't know if they were actually being legit serious. If they were, that actually, that that, that, that kind of hurts my feelings a bit. If they weren't, and I, I'm just going to go ahead and take it as that they weren't, because I'm not fucking, I'm not that sensitive. I'm sensitive, but I'm not that sensitive. Uh, I'll just, I'm just gonna assume that they were joking, but they did uh, kind of poke fun at me a little bit. And it's like, well, you know, to be fair, you know, this, that, and the other thing, and it's like, well, you know, all, pretty much every American says that they have, like, a lot of different, you know, shit in their bloodline to, like, you know, be more diverse or whatever. And it's like, well, I, number one, I don't know, I guess that's like a fucking meme or whatever, but I literally... I, I've never heard of it until, like, I've met my friend... 
until Woodsy mentioned it recently in his podcast on the podcast that he did, uh, and in that group yesterday where they mentioned the whole shit about Americans talking about having a lot of stuff in their bloodline, like. Oh, Americans are part everything. Every every American says that. It's like, no, I'm literally telling you what I was told. Like, I'm part fucking Welsh, Danish, French, Irish, Scottish. Uh, I think I'm also part European, I believe. Well, yeah, I think uh, one of those has to be fucking European. And I know for a fact that, that is, uh, that's definitely in that list somewhere. Uh, I am also part, uh, English. Somewhere down the line, it's in there. Um. Uh, I'm not, like, I'm not part, uh, fucking, uh, Russian or Italian. I don't have any of that in my bloodline. But I also know I am part fucking two tribes of Native American, but it's, it's very small. I'm not, I don't pride myself on them, I don't mention it a lot, but I do mention it whenever it comes up in, into conversation or whenever it feels relevant or interesting to talk about. So it's like, I don't know, I didn't, I had no idea about that fucking meme, or I guess that running joke or about a lot of Americans doing that, just to see more diverse or whatever the fuck, where it's like, I'm not, I'm not lying, I, I try not to lie, I don't like lying. It's something that I just fucking learned when I had my aha moment, like, a couple years ago. When a lot of shit hit the fan in my life, and it's still continuing to, where I just don't like to lie. Why would I want to make my life even worse by lying and then have to deal with that bullshit? No, thank you. Aside from that, outside of that, you know, it, it was fun. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more of that Among Us shit. But the way they did it with, like, you know, the fast movement speeds, and it's like, oh, everyone tries to get their tasks done while one dude literally tries to go after them with, like, literally the sight of a fucking mole while everyone else has, like, full range view. It makes it, like, fun, I guess. And it is fun. It was fun if you have, like, a group of people to do that with. And you can make a lot of jokes by just, like, gauging people's reactions and a bunch of other shit. Hence the fucking weird talk of, like, uh, PBW. I'm not gonna say what that means or stands for. If you want to know what it, what it stands for, go watch the video. I don't, I don't want to fucking... I don't want, I've talked... We literally spent a long time talking... Almost an hour talking about it. Just over and over. And I, 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 I'm good on that topic for now. I'm good. I'm not doing it. I'm not trying it. I'm good. Good, great, grand. Fantastic. Uh, watch it or don't. If you want to know what it is. If you want to know, watch it. If you don't care, don't, don't bother then. But that's probably the, the very few slash only time I'll ever do any Among Us content... Because someone did suggest Castle Crashers, but as, as luck would fuck me, I didn't get to do that either. Because being in a Discord call in certain games can kind of like, you know, make OBS say, Oh, high, warning, high encoding, and it will basically make, you know, create stutter lag on, on screen. Even though the game is running perfectly, or perfectly fine, just in general. Like, there's no lag at all. But, fucking, uh, Castle Crashers sucks cock, uh, when you're playing it with friends online, because the network, or whatever the fuck is it, or it is, just, the, the online multiplayer sucks, because someone can, like, even if your ping is great, someone can lag behind, I remember my friend V, uh, complaining a little bit once or twice whenever we were playing the stage to unlock the alien, because we had to replay it, like, two to three times, just to try and do it, and we never completed it because, well, hey, uh, you're lagging behind, quickly get over here, and it's like, I can't. You keep yelling at me to get over there, I can't physically walk over there. How you're able to get past that, I don't know, but there's an invisible wall, I can't do it. You're ahead of me, or I'm behind, or I'm, uh, at times I'd be ahead of him, and he'd be behind. I don't know, it's fucked up, alright? It's fucked up. Not to mention the group of friends that I did play it with. Uh, I did kind of go dormant on them for a little bit. Because I was doing my own shit at the time. And then when I came back, it's like, oh no, we already beat the game basically. And we're like at level 100 something. Or maxed out on a couple characters already. And unlocked several characters. And I'm like, why did the fuck did no one... Why, why'd you, why did none of you bastards wait for me? To be fair, in my defense, that's unfair and bullshit. 
I can't always be available for stuff, and that's kind of unfair to expect me to basically be like, okay, or just have the mentality of, okay, if they if they can't do it, fuck it. You know, we'll just continue playing it because it's fun and, and we want to do it. I get it. You're, you know, eager McBeaver, and I'm not really pissed completely about it anymore, but it's just, it, it, anyone watching this video, don't, don't do that to your friends. Don't do that. If y'all get a game that you want to play together, and you plan to play it together, play it together. Don't fucking do what they did, and go off without them. Don't do what I do every year to my friend V, and basically play fucking Scream Fortress by myself, uh, to try and get all my Halloween packages just so I can make a fucking shitty unboxing video because I don't have financial income to actually do a real unboxing. But, I digress. They were, they're still, well, they were good friends. I don't really talk to them anymore, mostly because stupid shit happened, but I already mentioned that already. In one of my videos, I'm not going to repeat all that. They were good people. They were good dudes. Uh, well, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't let that one fucking moment like ruin it. But of course, I still am gonna like kind of. I would like jokingly hold that over them. Whereas right now, it's like eh, I still am kind of holding it over them as both a joke and serious because it, it's kind of. It it sucks if you make plans to do something with a friend. Follow through. Don't go ahead. No man left behind. But. That's, that probably stems mostly from a lot of other people kind of screw me over on that, but that's completely irrelevant, so we're... I'm getting way off topic with that. Whatever. Aside from that, uh, what else did I want? What, what even led up to that conversation? Right, right. Fucking... Among Us. I might not... I'm, pro I'm not gonna be doing Castle Crashers anytime soon, so don't nobody expect that. I'm not gonna be doing Among Us all the time, or at all, so don't expect that. I'm not a huge fan of Among Us, and Castle Crashers sucks on your own. I'm not doing it on my own. It's, 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 I, no, nah, no, thank you, I'm good. I appreciate that one of my friends bought it for me, but it was, like, literally less than a dollar or a dollar when it was on sale when he got it for me. And I appreciate it immensely, I still appreciate it, and, and thank you very much for that. But, eh, whatever, you know, I'm just, I'm just not doing it. And I'm, I, I'm not going to, like, try and round up people to do that with. Nor am I going to do that with Among Us. So anyone that asked about Among Us content during uh, one of my previous streams, not going to happen anytime sooner at all. I, I, I did one video, and even then I didn't share that to my Steam group or my Discord. And I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it there as is. Also, I'm pretty sure I said this already, but that one particular group does not like certain words or phrases. Uh, primarily the word retard, and personally, I let it, well, I both, well, I don't, it, it's a funny word, okay? It makes me laugh, it makes me giggle, and it, it sums up a lot of things really fucking well. And it, it, it does genuinely, you know, put emphasis on, like, you know, how much you can stress something, like, how, like, like, whenever I say, oh, like, it's retardedly fucking, like, good, or retardedly stupid, or whatever the fuck... I use it as a way of exaggeration, and again, if it's offensive to some people, it, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess. I'm not trying to be, that's not my goal, that's not my objective to offend people. Just, don't, don't be, don't be super offended if you ever hear me say that word, okay? I'm my own person, I'm gonna say, you know, some words that a lot of people might not agree with. Like, some people don't like the word gay, I say that word, because it used to mean happy. Uh, I still use the term, uh, fag, because that used to mean cigarette. And I use the term fag whenever my brother goes out, I'll say, oh, my brother went out, I went outside with my brother to have a fag. Or he went out, I went outside with him while he went to have a fag. Because in the UK, and in Ireland, and I think in Scotland... Uh, they used to, and still do, refer to cigarettes as fags. So, there you go. Like, I'm not saying shit like that to offend people. So, I don't, I don't think anyone from that group has access to my channel. And they did say, oh, it's okay, we're breaking you of, like, a not-so-great habit. And it's like, well, there's a lot of words that, you know, you know, we're all saying here that can be taken as extremely offensive... 
like saying, oh, you know, like piss in my mouth or shit in my mouth. No, piss in my ass or shit in my mouth. Uh, or whatever the fuck else they were saying, like, that could be taken offensive to a lot of, by a lot of people, or a lot of people can be offended by it, because, it's, you know, someone would say, oh, that's disgusting, you know, vulgar, no, bad, like, like, anything is literally subject to being just, like, offensive, or whatever the fuck. So, if any of them from that group stumble across that video, or whatever, and then find this video afterwards, just know that... I'm still going to continue to say the word retard. Being in that group isn't going to change it. I'm going to, you know, stop myself from saying it, or I'm going to try and not say it in that group out of respect for you guys, but outside of that, I'm my own person, and I'll, I'm just going to do and what I do and say what I say. And it's not to be rude or out of spite or offend anybody. It's just, you know, what I do. That's like someone getting offended by, like, what game I play. That's like, that's like someone being offended by me playing, if I were to just ever stream Bioshock Infinite, and then, like, speaking out saying, oh, this game is, like, horrible or racist, because they actually did uh, have a part in Bioshock Infinite, where you were encouraged to throw a fucking baseball at a white dude and a black chick, and they actually were kind of racist up in the clouds, not going to lie, in uh, the paradise known as Columbia. They're like, oh, what are, uh, it's like, uh, what's the hold up? Or do you prefer your coffee uh, in Columbia black or whatever the fuck? Basically making, you know, slurs and references and shit like that. And you have the option to throw the ball at the two people or one of the two people or at the dude that's encouraging you to actually genuinely just you know, commit assault on another person that's literally being held there against their will. So, it doesn't matter which one you pick. If you, if you pick, you know, throwing it at the people, you know, they're literally, someone's going to grab your hand and stop you, I think. And then they'll notice the symbol on your hand and say, oh shit, this is the guy that we were warned about. Or if you try and throw it at the dude, they'll, they'll fucking, like, grab your hand and they'll be like, oh shit, you're the guy. Because, you know, you're trying to do this. You're an asshole. Get him. So, being offended by any of those words is literally like being offended by me doing that section and saying, oh, this is horrible. And yet, no one, to my knowledge, I'm sure people did complain and bitch to the, you know, 2K games for that. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff like that in video games. So, it, it is what it is. Take your, file your dispute with them, not me. But, getting away from that, I pretty much think I'm done with this video, so... Again, not trying to be offensive, not trying to be whatever the fuck, blah blah blah, this and that, the other thing. Okay, pushing that away now. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Oh no. <clears throat> if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this properly. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, no. <clears throat> Fucking goddamn dry ass throat. <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. That helps out a lot. Uh, if you want to check out my Steam group and my Discord, or join them, I mean, uh, links are in the description. You've been notified when I go live or upload a video and all that jazz. Uh, Steam group for notifications, exclusively notifications only. Discord for notifications and to be social with me and other viewers and such. Uh, if you want to check out the two mod lists I made for Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together, links are, will be in the description. Uh, I did not make the mods, but I did put the mods that I personally use in, you know, lists for both games. So feel free to check that out, they're always in the description, and all that shiza, so woohoo. Uh, I, uh, now I'm struggling to think, like, did I mention this or that or whatever the fuck in this video? Because I, I literally... Spent an hour doing this video, literally seconds before attempting this one. So I guess this is a quick recap. Fucking, hope everyone enjoyed their Halloween. Hope everyone enjoyed Hallowed Nights. It's still going on right now, but I'm probably gonna, like, not even bother doing the event. Or, and I, I've already turned off the Kingdom Hearts music as well for it, as well. I, 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 I kind of slowed down because I was gonna say Halloween Town from Kingdom Hearts, that world specifically. I turned off the music for that. So, we're done. We're done with that. Uh, 
let's see, hope everyone that didn't go out at least had fun at home and did something that they wanted to do. Uh, I'm glad and I hope my one friend that I gifted don't starve together on Steam. Uh, I hope they enjoy it and I hope they genuinely do enjoy it and I hope they have a, a, lot, a lot of fun with that. And make friends via that game or play that game with friends or whatever the fuck. I'm going to be honest, one of the main reasons what made me do it is because, again, I felt bad that they didn't get to do anything and they wanted to go out on Halloween and actually have a little bit of fun. And V bought me the game and I wasted my gift copy on someone that literally is a bit of a fucking... They, they suck. I wasted that gift copy on someone that literally played with my emotions. And that's not great. I'm not going to go into any further than that into it. But, you know, I wasted my gift copy on them. And I ended up buying it for them because my friend V gifted me this game. And I thoroughly love and enjoy it. They have it on console. Well, now they have it in their room on their computer on Steam. So, again, I'm just happy that I was able to uh, give one of my friends... A game that they actually really like and will have a, a, a men, immense fun with. And can't wait to get my capper from my other friend. Uh, cause, and again, try and track down the person that I that, that bought my capper that I sold it to. I'm going to see if I can find that person. And if I can, I'm going to friend them and message them the situation. And hopefully... All goes well in that department, and all goes well with that, and if not, then, oh well, I guess I'm just going to have to settle for second best, and history with that gun, I'll just have a new uh, a new capper, I'll have a new capper that will ha we'll, we'll have new history with it. So, that aside, uh, again, just covering all my bases, just a quick recap, I suppose, um, don't plan on doing Among Us a lot. Don't plan on ever really doing Castle Crashers. Uh, whatever else I said is whatever else I said. Uh, hopefully everyone that did do the Halloween costume contest that Clay had for Halloween 2020, you know, hopefully you did it on time because this is either either today or tomorrow is your last day. Um... I would highly suggest checking Clay's Twitter. If you don't have Twitter, uh, go to the video that I uploaded for the costume contest and then click the link in the description to see if it's still going on or not. If it is, good deal. Try and get yourself something nice. If you can't, then I, I'm sorry if you missed out. But, uh, yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. That helps out a lot. Uh, associated channels, shameless plugs, and social medias will be in the description below. And I hope you all enjoyed, so... Again, let me know if you want to see me stream Hamlet or Shipwrecked. I'll probably make a post on Twitter about that. No, on Twitter and on my Discord. Probably just Discord and this. If you want to see me stream that later on, just for shits and giggles, because I kind of want to play it. It's been a while, and I wanted to do Don't Start Together, because I want to get my drops, but... I'll do that on my own time, and it's been a while since I've actually played those two, so let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video where live stream comes first. Have yourselves a good day. Bye-bye. Re.